everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me on here and Instagram as ZA Reptiles. And today we have an exciting unboxing. So this is a box that was sent to me by Grub Terra. They were kind enough to offer to send me some Nutri Grubs to try out their company. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know Nutri Grubs are a staple in our household. I love Nutri-Grubs, they're a great source of calcium, so they don't even require any dusting. They're very nutritious, so they are a staple for some of my smaller lizards. So I give them to all of my geckos, including my crested geckos. Um, I'll mix it right into their Pangea or Pashi, whatever I'm giving them. Um, my African fat-tailed geckos, my leopard geckos. Um, I'll mix them into my bearded dragons salad. So I have several animals that do eat neutral grubs and I literally just ran out. So these couldn't have come at a more perfect time. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the box if I can figure out how to. Hold on a second. There we go. And we have our two little containers. Well, there goes the box. So we have our two little containers here. It says Grub Terra on it. That is their company name. And so it's a thousand. So my guess is it's probably two 500 cups. So now it's moment of truth. We're going to open them up and see how they're doing post shipment. Okay. All right. They're looking pretty good. They're very lively. They're moving around. You can see there's a lot of skins in there, but the Nutri Grubs themselves are they're great they're very alive and moving around and yeah, you can see all that movement in there so a really nice part about nutri grubs is you can keep them in your refrigerator to keep them from finishing their transformation into black soldier flies so i do like to keep my nutri grubs in the fridge um, because then they stay in nutri grub form a little longer so Anyway, let's feed them out. Now, unfortunately, most of the animals that would eat these are nocturnal, so that might have to wait until later, but we can at least give them to Puka, and he will be ecstatic. Okay, so I've got our container here with all of our nutri grubs. And then I've got my shaker bottle that I use. There's some calcium in there from this morning's feeding. Um, so I just usually, I'll go around and take my feeders, put them in the shaker bottle. Usually I have a little blue lid that goes on top. And then I go around and distribute my bugs. I do sell shaker bottles in my Etsy shop. Um, usually they're labeled and they say, oh, my camera just moved. But usually they're labeled and they say shake and bake on them with a cricket and a super worm. Um, I never labeled mine because mine was just the test dummy. But yeah, they're one of the most popular things in my shop. But let's pick out some Nutri Grubs. And I have to say right off the bat, something I really like about Grub Terra is the substrate that they choose to put their Nutri Grubs in. So far, all the Nutri Grubs I've ever gotten have been in either dirt or in like a little aspen shaving kind of substrate. And it makes it kind of annoying to feed because the substrate is all over the bugs it sticks to them and this doesn't whatever they're using in here like i can literally pick the bugs right out oops i dropped that one if i pick that one out there's no substrate stuck to it and i really like that so a plus to this company for their packaging of the nutri grubs because i hate having to pick out all the little bugs and then try to get all the substrate off and then having them still be covered in dirt or whatever I am NOT having a problem with this so whatever they're using they need to keep using it because I love it all right we got a pretty good amount there so we can go see what Puka thinks about them so Puka recently had his whole enclosure redone so this is the first time you're seeing the redone enclosure on this channel um, I did post it on TikTok and Instagram but for those of you here, uh, here's the update. I've got some live plants in here now. And yeah, his favorite spot is still up there. <laughs> so the minute I dump this stuff in, he will probably come running right down. Uh, 
Okay, so here's someone who hasn't been on the channel in a while. This is Suki. Suki is my African fat-tailed gecko with the bubble foot. If you don't know about her bubble foot, um, I do have a vlog from last year taking her to the vet to get it checked out after um, she was rehomed to me. <laughs> so we're gonna see what Suki thinks of Grub Terra. Now she's more of a mealworm type of gecko. Ooh, now it's moving, maybe we'll catch your attention. All right, so the problem with this video and filming it right now is that pretty much most of the animals I give them to are nocturnal geckos. So nobody really wants to eat right now because they're all sleeping. So even though Crikey's a little bit on the bigger side, we're gonna see if he wants some nutrient grubs because Crikey is always ready for food, right? You're always ready for food. There we go. Oh, you dropped it. There you go. Fancy. Get him. So I want to give a final big thank you to Grub Terra for sending my animals these nutrient grubs. They're so good for your animals. I love to feed them out to my animals. And they gave me a coupon code that you guys can use to save 10% off your purchase if you are interested in checking them out. So if you use the code GRUB10 over at Grub Terra, you will save 10% on your purchase of some nutrient grubs. So I definitely recommend it. They are very good for your animal and I love the way that they packaged them and like what they packaged them in because it made it super easy to pick out the neutral grubs. So again, a big thank you to Grub Terra and as always a big thank you to you guys for sticking around and watching another one of our videos. So thank you and we'll see you for the next video. Bye!